Have you ever heard the term called the singularity? It's a hypothetical point when artificial intelligence, AI, surpasses the total sum of human intelligence, meaning that AI becomes smarter than the entire human race combined. At that point, AI gets so advanced that it can evolve by itself without picking our brains. It sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? The question is, is the singularity really going to happen? And if it is, how will it affect our personal lives? And what should we do to prepare for it? Many books and theories talk about it, but the general norm is that the singularity is going to be a reality in the year 2045. That is 23 years from now, and I'll be living a later part of my life. So why do I bother to think about it when there are so many other things to worry about, like my classes next week, or a family tree in the summer? I'm a professor studying the research field called natural language processing. But I'm not sure if or when the singularity will ever happen. But I can definitely see we'll hit the point when AI becomes as proficient as human experts in many areas that matter to us, including education and healthcare. More importantly, I suspect that point will come well before 2045. As a researcher in this field, I feel responsible for the future of our next generation, uh, driven by the technology that we develop, and that's why I care about the future of AI. It is no secret that the technology has made the most significant impact on human civilization for the last several decades. However, that is just a tip of the iceberg compared to the impact that AI will make on our society in our lifetime. And let me explain to you why. What do you think is the most challenging aspect to advanced technology? In my experience, it is to come up with the original ideas they will break through the pattern of existing platform and suggest something original that will change the way that people think, typically. When AI starts generating such ideas by itself, again, I do not know if AI will surpass human intelligence or not, but it will undoubtedly be as proficient as human experts, including people like me, who are supposed to come up with these original ideas. So, it is foreseeable that AI will become smart enough to generate these ideas by itself, and when that happens, technological advancement will escalate because its biggest bottleneck is taken out of the equation, and machines never stop working. Just imagine a large group of brilliant scientists working together at all time, and they don't sleep and be as efficient at all time. When that happens, people will be very tempted to apply these AI-originated ideas to their lives without anticipating the consequences. If you don't feel like we are going to do that, just hear me out. These days, most AI models adapt what we call deep neural networks that require intensive GPU power, consuming lots of energy. If this trend continues, we will likely, it will likely be a massive factor in global warming. Yet, I do not see people slowing down, including myself, because we are just so excited to present a new technology to the world. In the future, if AI asks us to make it smarter by using more GPUs, burning more energy, then we may blindly follow its suggestion as we already do when GPS systems take us to a new place, just because we believe that the system, AI, knows better. AI may even suggest us, go home, everyone go home, and just work home, you don't need to see each other. And because there's a remote system, that when everyone does that, because it saves time for commute, and it allows us to work with anyone in the world, that may result in higher productivity by sacrificing the joy of working together in person, which machines do not necessarily care about. Unless we are conscious of the consequences, 
the technology that we develop will cause serious environmental and social issues that may become difficult to reverse. The time that we will live with AI as we live with the internet will come sooner than you expect. People already fear that they will lose their jobs over AI when the time comes. It does not matter if it is a high or low income jobs. For example, AI will be able to diagnose as accurately as medical doctors do, putting MDs out of jobs, which is unthinkable at the moment. On the other hand, people may prefer humans over AI for jobs like nursing, which require constant interactions with the patients so that nurses or caregivers may become more popular jobs than medical doctors. As GPS systems allowed it, people like me with no sense of directions to be decent drivers, and also search engines enable non-experts to be able to find any information they need AI will augment everyone's intelligence. Your intelligence level will be estimated by your own intelligence plus your ability to augment your intelligence with AI. Therefore, jobs that are exclusive to only talented people these days, such as composing music or coming up with some trendy business ideas, may not be so hard for anybody augmented by AI. So then, what should we do to prepare for the era of AI? For the past few years, I have advised my students to be creative and focus on generating your own idea instead of articulating someone else's ideas. After all, AI learns from what we have introduced. So if you create something that this generation has not seen before, you will always have an edge over AI, and no matter how AI changes the world, you will always found to be valuable. It sounds very challenging, but it's not really, because you were once creative, as all children are so creative, and you were a child at one point of your life. Here is a good example. Let there be a child named Adam and another child named Jarvis. Adam was encouraged to draw anything that he wants with minor instructions, whereas Jarvis was given with a picture book and asked to follow the instructions in the picture book and drawing particular objects in that book. In the beginning, it seems like Jarvis knows what he's doing because his shapes make sense, whereas Adam's drawing just do not make any sense. But as time goes on, Adam starts presenting all kinds of new objects that he imagines, while Jarvis gets stuck with only the objects in that picture book. If you train yourself to be someone who draws nothing but objects in the picture book, you will for sure to be surpassed by the AI, because that's what AI does extremely well. But if you start drawing, something on weird, weird, unpolished looking abstract things that's not in the book, then you produce something that AI can never dream of. A creative mind. That's what we need more than ever in the era of AI. One last thing. I already said we should be responsible for the technology that we develop. Technology should not be the goal of our research. We should find what human needs first and develop the technology for the needs because we, human beings, come before technology. I believe diverse minds from many disciplines need to collaborate in developing AI together to satisfy all kinds of needs in human life. That's how I see we should prepare the next 20 years for the era of AI and bring a futuristic yet human-centric environment to our next generation. Thank you very much and God bless.